Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Test Seventy Twenty Two up on here. Um, I was recently watching a video from the boy Blue Nine One Nine Eighty Two Juggalos that grow out of it in quotations. Um, you know, there was a lot of good comments below his video. Um, I might read a couple of them, maybe. I wish ICP would return to their former days of awesomeness. But when they became the happy, friendly clown posse and worried about their image and marketing more than their music. Being a Juggalo started sucking. Being a Juggalo used to be about not giving a fuck. ICP used to not give a fuck either. So it's just two completely different scenes now compared to back then. Can't hate on OGs for moving on, but can't hate the new Juggalos either. It's just different. Um, ICP changed after Jekyll Brothers. Being a Juggalo was being a scrub anymore after that or a person who just liked ICP and being a juggler used to be to be about it became a marketing machine of selling a family with other artists it wasn't just about music anymore after that a person really had to be down in the 90s to understand what I'm saying the whole scene got lamer as the music got lamer and family and whoop whoop were the only words Juggalo was bothered to remember. <clears throat> I used to be a Juggalo after the Joker cards and Blaze and Twisted's first couple albums. It just stopped impressing me, I guess. No hate towards them, I just enjoy other music. I don't see how so many people favor only one group of artists. Now, there's a couple comments here that are a little... All the sappy Juggalo love songs and miracles stuff like that never existed before they used with a sarcasm <clears throat> when making a point in the past not preach like they've been doing and it's true that is a true true comment right there it's like jesus said when salt loses its saltiness how can't it be made salt how can it be made salty again they fell in love with the world unfortunately i guess the Mighty Death Pop will answer any questions if they still have a heartbeat or if it's lameness for good. Now, that was the comment I liked the most because this guy's saying basically this new album is gonna make or break Insane Clown Posse. It's either gonna, and I mean, for, for hardcore jugglers, people like, you know, me and, and some other people. It's not going to make or break them for us, I don't think, because I'm always going to be a fan. I'm always going to be a juggalo. But it is going to prove something. It is going to say what direction they are heading in. You know, everybody says, you know, the Bang Pow Boom era, and Jay even said we're still in the Bang Pow Boom era. And, you know, he respects it like it's a Joker's card. And, you know, I think you need to take that into heed that, you know, from what they've done before, you think they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. If they're doing something, they're doing it for a reason. There's a reason for it. You know what I mean? There's a reason for Bang Pow Boom. And maybe some of you might not like it. Maybe some of you don't like their newer stuff. But they're, maybe they're doing this for a reason. You know, there's there's something behind what's going on. There always has been. And I think that's what people need to look at. Um, it can't always stay the same. Because at that time, they were approaching a different story. They were... They were telling a different story. They were they were trying to explain something totally different. The messages then are different than the messages now. We already have those messages. What do you want them to do? Tell the same messages over and over again? Because that makes no sense. Um, it's the same, you know, shit. It wouldn't make any sense for them to just repeat themselves over and over again. And I don't think that's what they're doing. I think the reason for the new Joker cards is to reach a newer generation so that they're not, because at the time, things were different. This is a different time. You know what I mean? We're in a new, di different age, different era, and a different, it's just everything's different. You know what I mean? So for them to do what they're doing, I think is a smart thing. And I don't think Juggalo should be ban um, leaving them or, or just down talking them in any way for what they've done with any of their new stuff. I mean, like uh, somebody said on a comment, um, the newest um, Eat Shit and Die album um, from the Riders is one of the best Riders albums ever to come out. And no one looks at that. You know, everybody's saying, oh, they're getting soft, this and that. But yet, look at the Riders album that just came out, Eat Shit and Die. It was amazing. 
it was a great album. You know, if you ask me, I'd say ICB's in their prime. I'd say, you know, Van Calboom might have been a little cleaned up commercial feeling, and it was, just like um, Tempest and just like a couple other things, but, you know, what's, what's wrong with that? What, you know, what's really wrong with that? So it's a little cleaned up. So it's not like Riddle Box or Great Malenko. Is that, I mean, it's just, I mean, we've said it over and over again a million times. It's like people just want to see another Great Malenko and another Riddle Box, and it's like that's all they want. They just want the same album over and over again. And I mean, you're not going to get that from an artist. An artist is going to grow and they're going to change, and that's just what it is. Um, so do their fans. And sometimes fans, you know, will... I, I don't really like the one guy's comment, because basically he said he listens to other music now. Well, what stops you from listening to other music when you liked ICP and you were a juggalo? I'm a juggalo, and I like all different types of music. One of my favorite groups, or one of my favorite rappers, is MC Chris. And, like, you know, the shit he raps about is cut type of... It's juggalo shit, because he's, he's geeky, and I'm a geek as my, myself, so... A lot of this shit he raps about is it, it relates to me a lot, you know what I mean? Like, but you know, it's nothing like psychopathic. You see what I'm saying? And I have no problem listening to ICP and listening to MC Gris, and I have no problem listening to you know Grateful Dead and fucking whoever I listen to. You know, Sublime, Rome with Sublime. I like everything. You know what I mean? Music is music, and it's a great thing. And I'm not gonna like just because I start liking other music say, oh well, now I'm not a juggler because I like this type of music now. Um, that's not really how it is. I like all types of music all the time, and I don't ever change. You know what I mean? I mean, I change, but I'm not going to just say, oh, well, now I listen to this type, so now I'm not going to listen to ICP. And it seems like that's kind of what that, that comment was was aimed towards. Like, he, he basically said, well, now that I listen to new music, I'm not going to no longer listen to ICP, no longer, I'm no longer a juggalo because I like this type of music. Why can't you like everything? Um, if it's one thing about being a juggalo, it's being diverse. Um, so, you know, juggalos who say, oh, well, I only listen to ICP and this and that, everything else sucks. Those people are fucking retarded. Um, retarded with a capital fucking R. I mean, stupid. Because there is massive amounts of music out there that is amazing. And to be passing that all up, you know, just for ICP is kind of pitiful. Um, you know, ICP is the shit. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if I were to pick anybody to be able to listen to, ICP would be in my top five. But um, to pass up everything else is a little far-fetched. Um, music is music. And if you're a lover of music, you're a lover of a lot of different types of music. Because no music stays the same and no music is the same over and over again besides, you know, commercial rap. Which is a whole other story. If you want to consider that music, go ahead and do so. But... Um, you know, one reason why I started to listen to ICP and, and, and fuck, fuck with, with everything is because, you know, I used to be a big fan of hip-hop and rap, and it just, it came to a point with hip-hop and rap that it just was, it was recycled bullshit over and over and over again. Um, and a lot of you people want ICP to do that. It's almost like you hate commercial music, you hate mainstream and and you hate them because they're clones and they do the same shit over and over again all their songs sound the same everything is the same they talk about the same shit but then when icp changes up and does stuff that's new you want to hate on them and you want them to repeat themselves now what's that about why would you want them to repeat themselves wouldn't that make them just as clonish or whatever as the mainstream if they did that if they went and made another riddle box if they went and made another Malenko if they went and made another Jekyll if they went and made another ringmaster I mean would that make wouldn't that make them clones commercial wouldn't they just be repeating what they've done and wouldn't that kind of I think a lot of you would be a lot more pissed off if they were doing that than what they're doing now because at least what they're doing now requires some type of thought and requires some type of you know newness and freshness um, repeating what they've already done would not take too much, you know. And I'm really hoping that you juggalos out there that push for shit like that don't get through to them and they don't decide, well, let's do that. Let's, you know, try to make this album just like this album. Because that's what the juggalos want. No, fuck that. Fuck what the juggalos want. Because you know what? What the juggalos say they want, they can say all they want. But you know when, like, Malenko came out, a lot of people were like, 
oh, you know, talking shit. It was the same thing. You know, there was albums that came out, the six joke cards, that people were like, man, they didn't like this shit. But, um, you know, as time went on, those songs, some of those songs became some of the most popular songs that ICP has in their catalog, you know, and that they do with shows and shit. And now they're, you know, juggalo classics. <clears throat> so you look at the way things work. There's songs on Bang Pow Boom that in like five, six years will probably be like classics that people like, you know what I mean? Like, and I can see there's a couple of them, you know? I mean, that really are fresh ass fucking songs. Actually, the whole album, I love Bang Pow Boom. And I'm really only mentioning Bang Pow Boom because it's the newest ICP album out to date that we can really point at and say, you know, this is what they are now. Because really, that is what they are now. And if you think they're going to completely change from that, I think you're sadly mistaken. Um, you know, I have great faith that The Mighty Death Cop is going to be a good album, but I don't think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be completely different than Bang Pow Boom. I think it's going to... I think you're going to definitely see similarities. I don't think there's going to be a whole... I don't think it's possible for a group to be able to create a whole new sound in the same era um, cause they say it's the era of Bang Pow Boom, but yo, those al these albums are coming out pretty close to each other. Um, Bang Pow Boom and, and Mighty Death Pop are coming with, within, what, a three-year period. And that's not a bad thing, you know? That's another thing I love about ICP and being a juggalo is that, you know, music's always there for us. You know, there's always something coming out, and I just, you know, lately with the whole Twisted coming out with, uh, Volume 4... Um, Cryptic Collection Volume 4 I got a little irritated Because I was thinking to myself You know There's like nothing new on this CD I'm not going to go buy a whole CD of shit that I already have You know what I mean And a lot of people did And I just think it's like Dude you guys had plenty of time Why don't you make some new shit for us I don't know That The Cryptic Collections kind of pissed me off but uh, other than that, I mean, I love Twisted, don't get me wrong, but I want to see a new CD, I want to see new songs, I want to see a whole new, you know, I think it would have been cool if they would have put out the Cryptic Collection, and then maybe put an extra disc on there with like five new tracks. That's just my opinion. Um, it would have been more worth it. Um, I didn't even buy it, and I probably won't, so, yeah, unless I have ten extra bucks on board, maybe I'll pop it, because I need, I do need something new to put in my car, and maybe I'll buy it just to listen to it in the car. Other than that, guys, you know, the whole falling out or growing out of it thing, some of us just grow, don't necessarily grow out of being a juggler. We grow out of the beginning phases of being a juggler, wearing the merch every day, wearing the charms every day, you know, constantly whoop whooping people. You know, I pass jugglers, I don't even whoop whoop. And, you know, that's just what it is. It's just the way it is. And it's not necessarily because I'm not about the fam and I'm not about this and I'm, I'm a fake juggler. It's not that. It's just that I'm a, I'm a grown up. You know what I mean? I'm not going to whoop whoop in the, in the front of a bunch of people in the mall because I'm a fucking adult. I have a kid. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, if you want to come up to me and say, what up, fam? Shake my hand. That's cool. But, you know, that's, that's more my approach. If I see a juggalo and I see that he's more, you know, he's not super young and not like just naive about it. And he seems like he's been down for a while. I'll go up and say, what up, fam? You know, what you doing? You been in any show? You going to this show? How'd you like this album? Stuff like that. You know, that's what it is. But I'm not I'm not screaming whoop whoop at the top of my lungs to a mall. Because, you know, that's just who I am. I'm not that little kid no more. And I think that's, you know, really where, where it all stands. And where... And that's where it goes, man. That's, the, that's the direction. It's okay, too. Because, you know... They're not doing that either. ICP's not walking through malls through whooping people. You know, they're they're just talking, and because they're grown up, man. They got kids. They got they got bills to pay. Test dummy twenty two.